Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of my Minecraft art series. This week we'll be taking a look at Super Saiyan God Goku. The blocks I used to make him are black wool, blue wool, light blue wool, nether brick, red wool, orange wool, pink wool, wooden planks, sand, and white wool. Now I got this design from the Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods movie, and it's Goku's final transformation. Now this took me a lot less time to construct than it did for the one I made in episode 1. The one I made in episode 1 it took me almost 2 weeks, and this one took me just a little over a day, now that I have a system set in place. And because I have this new system set in place, it actually helps me calculate how many blocks I'm going to need to construct all of this. Now, it's one block shy from reaching the building limit. After this one block, I can't build any higher, so this actually makes it uh, the largest Minecraft art that I've made so far. And standing right next to the base of the artwork, you can see how large it actually is. I made sure I got Goku's shading for his clothes correct, and even his face and his hair. Because when it comes to animated characters, it's the shading that actually helps them give them a more textured look. And this is just a shot from the other side of Goku. And now that the sun is set, we get a cool shot of Goku underneath the moon with the stars in the background. Just like in episode 1, I took two pictures of Goku. One during the day, and one during the night. Now, the night is pretty cool because sometimes I get lucky and get lightning storms and I got lucky enough to have a lightning bolt strike in front of Goku and I took a snapshot out of it but the funny thing about it is that a pig actually photobombed the shot and at first I didn't really like it but then I got to see the humor side of it and uploaded it to the internet anyway this Minecraft artwork is an original no one else has created it but me because I actually had to go through the trouble of working out exactly how many blocks I would need and where they would have to go you're not gonna find a guide on how to construct this Minecraft artwork or the one I created in episode 1 but I do upload the pictures and I hope they sort of help you construct sort of a replica of it and a big shout out to my brother and cousin for helping me clear out the land and replace it with a stone brick because I like to create a base for my artwork. So thanks for watching guys. I'll be coming out with more Minecraft artwork next week. So until next time. I'll see you guys later.